This kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting, and that's omitted. Fasting omitted. Fasting omitted. This kind cometh not out but by nothing but prayer and fasting. Fasting is omitted. In the Christian life, fasting is a very important thing coupled with prayer. But you can't really support that with other Bible versions. Fasting is taken out. The scripture we read this morning, that every man should not live by... That man should not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Then that should be Matthew 4.4. 4. Man shall not live on bread alone, by every word of God is removed. Desire the sincere milk of the word on the bottom, long for the pure spiritual milk. We don't know what milk that is. It's not connected with the word. Do you have a holy Bible? Well, if you have an NIV, NASB, and all the rest, um, you don't. The word holy in all the Bible is taken out. You won't find the word holy. Holy men, holy angels, holy brethren, holy prophets, holy apostles, holy ghosts. It's just spirit, apostles, prophets, brethren, angels, men. Second Peter 1.21, holy men spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Just men. Not holy men, but men. And it's true. Those who wrote the NIV, they were just men. So it's true for that particular verse. Do you have a holy Bible? Gospel of Christ is just gospel if Christ is omitted. Through Christ, the heir of God through Christ. You're just an heir of God. You don't have to come through Christ. Jesus Christ has come in the flesh, is omitted. Truth in Christ has just become truth. Now we'll come to this one, Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. Because the Bible says those who don't teach that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is antichrist. And this is their Bible. As a matter of fact, you can actually, I don't know if they still do it, but in the Philippines, where my wife is from, when you bought an NIV, you had a picture of Pope John Paul II on the cover because it was the official Catholic Bible. So it's the Bible of Antichrist. So therefore, you know, Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. It's not in there. It's just Jesus. They prove who they are. Kingdom of God is just the kingdom. Spirit of God, the spirit. Love of God is the love. Angels of God is just angels. Gospel of the kingdom of God is just the gospel. Offerings of God is just offerings. De demotes these teachings. Hell is omitted 50% of the time in the New Testament. Hell is omitted 100% of the time in the Old Testament in these new versions. New versions omit two main characters of the Old Testament, Jehovah and Lucifer. You won't find Jehovah in the Old Testament or the uh, New Testament. In the Old Testament, you won't find Lucifer there either. The names are changed. Heaven is also greatly reduced. And you'll see this here. King James, Father who is in heaven is just Father. Father which art in heaven is just Father. Father which is in heaven is Father. Now, why is that important? Now, we saw that, that, that satanic prayer. You know, when you pray, Father, which art in heaven, you're denoting which father you're praying to. All right? Now, Satan worshipers called Lucifer, Satan, I mean, Father, our Father. So it's very, you, you, these, these changes you might think are subtle, but they're very blatant changes. Son of man, which is in heaven, is just son of man, so on and so forth. Temple of heaven is just temple. New versions teach God is cruel. Notice this. King James on the right, NIV on the left. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Beautiful verse, you won't find it. Be of good comfort, you won't find it. Mercy is gone. Power to heal the sick is gone. The lame man which was healed is gone. When God says in Hebrews 3.10 that he was grieved, they change it to say I was angry. 2 Corinthians 6.9, chastened. So you're punished. There's a difference between punishing and chastening. Ephesians 6, 4, nurture and admonition is discipline and instruction. 1 Corinthians 12, 21, humble is humiliate. Big difference between humbling and humiliating. John 20, verse 17, touch me not. He's telling Mary to stop clinging to me. Okay, Acts 7, verse 30 is bush for whatever reason. And it's not in the NIV, but it's in the other versions of the Bible. They put thorn bush. I mean, didn't need to be there, but they decided to throw that in. All right. How does one get saved in the New Living Translation? 1 Timothy 4, 16 says, Stay true to that which is right and God will save you. That's the New Living Translation. So it's teaching a religion by works. And you'll notice some certain things. For the Son of Man has come to destroy men's, has not come to destroy men's life, but to save them. We in the Bible see that salvation comes through Christ. Other Bible versions, if, you, if you're obedient, you'll be saved. For the Son of Man has come to save that which is lost. It's gone. You won't find those verses. The gospel of Christ is just good news about Christ. Fruit of the Spirit is the light which you produce. Obey, and this is, you know, NIV. Okay? The light which you produce is not the fruits of the Spirit in the King James. 
Obey the truth through the Spirit is just a message to obey. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit is gone. You won't find that there either. Now we're going to look at some things about how falling away, how these versions fall away from the truth. Revelation 9.21, speaking about, it says, Neither repent there of their fornication. What you're going to see, here's a Webster's uh, definition. Fornication is an illicit sexual intercourse on part of an unmarried person. We understand that, right? It's not hard to understand what fornication is. Spiritual fornication is, is a little different in the Revelation. But still, you will not find fornication mentioned one time in the other Bible versions, NASB, NIV, you won't find it. It's turned to the word immorality. Now, you might think, well, there's nothing wrong with immorality. Well, give me a definition for immorality. Give me a definition. What is, it, what is, it, what, what is someone who's immoral? Look at, look at what Webster tells you here. Okay? Immorality is a state of being immoral. What is immoral? Not moral. It's, a, it, it, it's, it's relative. What's immoral to you might not be immoral for me. But fornication is clear cut. But you won't find it in the Bible. All right? Falling away, number two, men shall be unholy. 2 Timothy 3.2 says this and also in the last days men shall be unholy. And we looked at some of these things already, but King James versus the other version says, the top one says, and come, take up the cross and follow me. It just says, then come, follow me. We don't need to take up the cross anymore. Holy men are just men. Pure heart is just heart. Perfect is adequate. God doesn't want us to be adequate. He wants us to be perfect. All right? Sanctified is called. All right? Campers, I have a little statement here. It says campers are equipped, but not necessarily perfect. You know, people want us to be equipped. Perfecting is equipping. Making you perfect, they just say equip you. All right? College students may complete their degree, but they're not necessarily blameless or perfect. Would you agree? King James is perfect all the way down the line or blameless, but in the other Bible versions, it's fully trained, complete, 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 complete. Uh, career Fortune 500 managers may get an award of excellence, but not virtue. All right, virtue is the u word used in King James, but in the other versions, it's excellence. Hundred-year-olds may be mature, but they're not necessarily perfect. Perfection in the other versions of the Bible is turned to the word maturity, to be mature. Falling away, number three, to another gospel. He that preacheth another gospel, 2 Corinthians 11, 4. Now, Children, now imagine reading to your children this verse. Mom, is it, you know, how are we to be saved? Can Christ help us? And you turn to your NIV, and you turn to Mark chapter 10, verse 24, and the King James says, children, how hard it is for them that trust in riches to enter the kingdom of God. But you turn to your NIV, and you say, children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. You know, it makes people want to be, you know, if I can't do it, why try? Okay. Narrow is the way, difficult is the way in the, in the New King James. Unbelief is disobedience, believe not, disobedience on the cross. Faith is turned to faith, faithfulness, the difference between having faith and faithfulness. Little ones that believe in me is just one who believes. Believing in me, believing on me, believing in the name of the Lord, all these things are changed in the other versions of the Bible. The beast of the blood. King James says, in whom we have redemption through his blood. We know that's speaking of Christ. Well, you won't find that. It's just in whom we have redemption. No, through his blood. Faith in his blood is just faith. Washed from our sins is just freed from our sins. We're not washed as blood. Blood which is shed is a cup which is poured out. And again, that's not in the NIV, but it's in the other versions of the Bible. Suffering Savior in the King James. It says, this is my body which is broken for you. But you won't find that in the other versions. It's just, this is my body which is for you. Christ also has once suffered. It's just Christ also died. By himself purged our sins. It's he made perfection of sins. That, that can be interpreted kind of crazy there. Christ has suffered for us. as Christ had suffered, but not for us. His sacrifice for us in the King James is just has been sacrificed. All right, and, and it's this new age avatar that you see there. We'll start getting into some new age theories, and you'll see what I'm talking about in just a moment. Falling away number four is men would be fierce. All right, King James, do good to them that hate you. You won't find that in the new versions. So we don't have to worry about doing good to those who hate us if we have the other versions of the Bible. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father in heaven forgive your trespasses. You won't find that there either. So we don't have to forgive. We don't have to do good to our, our enemies. 
Bless them that curse.